All right, hi everyone. I'm Catherine from We Are Bikers, Your Bikers Unite. Here is my guest today at Where the Bikers Unite is Johnny. Hello. And then we have Mike. Hello. And then Johnny's old lady, Debbie. Hey. And then Oliver's still here too. <laughs> a little man. So um, let's begin. Johnny, if you want to introduce yourself just a bit. Well, my name is Johnny Alexander, and uh, I've been a biker going on oh, about 45 years now. Yeah? yeah. Oh yeah, I started when I was seventeen. And you were you are a marine? Yes. Always a marine. Once, always. That is correct. And then you were from Georgia. Yeah. No, I am from Georgia. You are from Georgia. I am you from Georgia. are Georgia. There is no <laughs> doubt about that. And then Mike, tell us about you. I'm Michael. Uh, been riding twenty years now. And now you don't ride Harley Davidson. You ride. What do you ride? Currently riding a Honda. That's all right. That's all right. That's right. It doesn't matter. You know, For it, some reason, there's a stigma. I don't know why there's a stigma there. It's, we're going to break that. But that's great. And then, Debbie, tell us a little bit about you, since you're the old lady of this charming fellow over here. I really am the old lady, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, I grew up in Virginia. Yeah. Uh, been married to Johnny for 20 years, and that's the one I've been riding with him. Yeah. Awesome. Unfortunately, she didn't smoke cigarettes or drink or anything before we got together. So, you know, drink, that is what it is. That's awesome. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's everyone drinks here and there. And I some drank people, in high school, college, not in high school. So, yeah. Yeah. I was, you know, but I, I, I don't ride, but, you know, being a college student, I drink too. You know, for some reason, there's a stigma there for bikers and drinking, yeah. which I don't personally understand. Yeah, it's, you know, it, it is a stigma. And it's, but, you know, bikers and alcohol are synonymous, you know. But Debbie and I met in a bar, ironically. No way. What kind of yeah. bar was it? It was, uh, it was a family bar. Yeah. That's all, in, in Virginia or in no, Georgia? No, it was in Georgia. Yeah. yeah. It was in Georgia, and it was on Jackson Lake. Now, I'm not going to say the name of the bar, but we were on Jackson Lake. So I'll leave it at Was that. it love at first sight when you saw her? Uh, it was for me, but I don't know. It took me a while to uh, bring her around. <laughs> it required a little bit of effort, you know. <laughs> no way. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, all see, the good things. About the thing is, we da- we met, we danced all night. Well, a friend of mine, his name was Kevin Mason. He introduced us, and it's the best favor anybody has ever done me, you know. But anyway, we danced all night, and I offered her a ride on a motorcycle the next day, and. Uh, we parted ways. We closed the bar down about two o'clock, I guess it was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I went home. I went my way. She went her way, and and uh, I was at home vacuuming. And, he gave me his number. I didn't yeah. give him mine. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, good. I, she wouldn't give me hers. Okay. See. Now but here's anyway. my question: though. Why? There's a reason why you didn't want to give him your number right away. Was it just him being a new person? Yeah. Do you feel like? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was, I think it was probably the looks that made her have second thoughts. You know, looks. yeah. He was giving you looks, Debbie. <laughs> no, the way no. I looked. No, he had. He, oh, he, I told long you, hair. My, my mom when I first introduced him to my mom, she goes, "He looks like a biker, but does he have to dress like one?" I said, "Mom, he <laughs> is one because he had real long hair. He had, I mean, but and my dad, they both accepted him for who he was." Yeah. But my mom was a little bit like, does he have to dress like one? <laughs> because my brother-in-law, who is a sheriff, of a police, used, to, yeah. used to ride too. So she was used to his looks, not wrong Isn't that hair. fascinating? Like the different yeah. type, even though they ride. Yeah. Yes. Just the, I mean, it's still, you know. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. Yes. As a matter of fact, her brother-in-law, the first time I met him, he said, uh, you like Harley too? Yeah, I love him. He goes, maybe we can go for a ride sometime. No, sir, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Because he was a sheriff of a certain county in Georgia. And uh, I, I was like, you know, it wouldn't look too good my buddies, you know. <clears throat> but it is what it is. And know? there's history from there. Then yeah, you guys absolutely. had a biker wedding, yes, pretty much. Yes. But you said, Debbie, you also had a whole bunch of people from your family, too. Oh, yeah. So it was like a well mixture of, yeah. People who I work for in in Charlotte, people who I work for in Georgia, and my sisters. Yeah, they all came up. And her mom and dad, and, and uh, yeah. Well, it was a, it was a culture clash. 
Do you feel, Johnny, like as time progressed, do you guys feel like the culture clash is still happening? No. Uh, in no, this area, do you feel like it's getting better? You know, it was it was a little touch and go in the beginning and you know, everybody thought that I was gonna be on the picture on the scene for a short period of time, but uh lo and behold, here we are twenty years later. <laughs> <laughs> And Johnny, you meet so many people. Like, I've been with you for almost a year now, <laughs> with you and Deb. I, I feel so sorry for you. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> no, really, like the best part. Yeah, um, uh, but now, when you go in, when you meet a biker, do you approach them right away? Absolutely. Or, that's right. Absolutely. I, you know, I'm an outgoing person anyway, and just my nature. But, you know, I... I I try to bridge a gap, you know? Yeah. That's that's my main... It's one thing that brought me to you. I felt yeah. like we were going to be a long-term friendship. Yeah, we met on... Social media. Yeah, absolutely. And it was, you know... Yeah, there's still... It's funny, the stigma when it comes to social media of like, oh, you meet... Like, even selling stuff, you're like, you got to be public. Like, I completely agree with that. But I've met so many people mm-hmm. through social media. It's fascinating. Mm-hmm. Well, Mike, so you tell, tell us a little about your journey. If that's okay. A little bit about your journey of why, like, not why you ride, but, like, what brought you to the motorcycle world? Putting you on the spot. <laughs> you know, that's, that's a tough question for anybody. I think it is. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's well, a way to get out of the house. <laughs> I, I started out on a mini bike, and it's been down here. What kind of mini bike did you start on? It was probably a Sears and Roebuck. What did you start out with, Mike? The first mini bike I rode, I didn't even get out of the garage with. I wrecked it into the side of the garage door. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Mine, I got. I ran up. We had peach trees, and I ran up into under the peach trees. A peach tree limb knocked me off the back of the mini bike, and my dad goes, he just looks at me like, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> you know? I said, "I don't know." You know, but you know. So how old of course, I was only nine years old. My, my first bike was an 86 Honda Magnum. I had it 14 months and put 10,000 miles on it. Wow. <laughs> I can understand that. I can I relate. Was, I was in the mountains every single weekend. Now, why the mountains? That's where my parents were living. Oh. So we were up there riding. Especially that, at the first, that first they were in Huntersville. And then they moved up to the mountains. I was we 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 rode up to the mountains every single weekend. That's amazing. We were I was riding with my dad everywhere all the time. And he rode too. And my dad did too. It was one of those things that my mom said if my dad got a bike, yeah, it was kind of you know if if your brother in law got a bike, you could get a bike. And then I was told basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. So everybody went out and bought motorcycles together. Yeah, you told us that when we had dinner with all of us at that seafood restaurant. What was it called again? Uh, American Roadhouse. America's, we went to America's, Roadhouse. America's Roadhouse. <clears throat> so everyone got a bike. After like, if this person gets a bike, then <laughs> yeah, that's the way to work the system. <laughs> well, I mean, well, my dad rode it out. He would put me on with him, and I would ride everywhere with him. And my mom would get so mad because we'd be gone for so long. You know, she goes, "I've had supper done for two hours." We. Well, it so was sorry. nice outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? I never understood why. It's, well, it's another conversation we've been having is, um, you know, why do you, the loved ones have a hard time with writing? You know, I, I understand if you had supper planned and stuff. Like, I get that well, to a point, yeah, but at the same well, time, yeah. I don't know. I'm more easygoing, though. I'm more amiable, yeah. so I... Really you don't have that problem because Kim rides. Kim rides, so she'll go with you. That's right. How long is she That's why we have exes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good point. I got two of those. Yeah, good point. Exes don't ride, so yeah. you find somebody that does. That works with you. I love Kim, though, and she's working right now. That's why she's on our podcast. How long has she been riding? Yeah. Four years? Now, did you Five get years? her into riding? She was already riding when we met. She had just started riding when we met. No, what was it's, it like? Was it kind of like when Johnny met Debbie situation where you saw her well, and you were like, that's the one? <laughs> well, it wasn't, you know, I don't know if, 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 if between Debbie and I don't know if it was love at first sight or I'm not going to go to the, the other. Or maybe just yeah. an attraction. You yeah. Know, so there's a different type of. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's a given. There's different layers of, of attraction. Well, I was going through a divorce when we met. Oh, yeah, you were? Yes, I was going through a divorce when we met. I hadn't... <laughs> relationship? No, that wasn't even on my mind. You know? And uh, lo and behold, here we are came. 20 years later. Really? You and Kim too? Like that? Yeah. Uh, you know... <laughs> oh, he's been married longer than he's been yeah. single. Yeah, we started out riding. We started out just being two people riding. Yeah. Well, now, where did you go? Like, when do you remember your first ride? Do you remember where you guys went? Just around town. Was it just we, a good ride? We'd meet up and just it was just somebody to ride with. And she, what does she ride? She's got a Harley. 2015 Heritage, I think. Heritage Tail. Do you have a, like a favorite ride that you've been on with her? Pretty much all of them. All of them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said pretty much all of them. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. That's the nice thing about us. We just like spending time with each other. Mm-hmm. Just sit in there and watch TV on the couch. I'm perfectly happy. Mm-hmm. See, that's just so, I think that's so important to talk about, too. Because in the biker community, you know, there's different stories you hear where sometimes they're like, oh, I'm just never going to find somebody that relates with me. And I always tell the biker, just give it time. Like, it's not going to happen on a square zero, you know. And Sally, you're in a very male-dominated <laughs> environment, you know. That, you know? That's, that's true in a, in a sense, but there's a lot of women that ride now. There is. That's one thing. That has been a major turnaround over the years. But now, how I mean, do you? Can you talk a little bit about that, Johnny? Like what you've personally seen. Well, I mean, when I first started riding, which I, I was a little punk ass kid, but it, you know, it was like this. Most everybody that rode were guys, and you know, if my dad was still alive, he could say the same thing. But I, I never saw women on on their own motorcycle. You know, and, and that progressed. You know, that progressed through the years, and I've seen more in the last 10, 15 years than I've, you know, than it's I ever saw. Still that way in a lot of the clubs. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. Women aren't allowed to ride their own. Yeah. Some of them, you're right, but you know, I just, you know, and to me, you know, I've been with on the one percent side of it too, and it's, I'm not so much now, but it's. That was that's a true statement when you consider a one percenter club. But the other clubs, we got women that ride in our club now. Yeah, because you're yeah. part of the EMI Riders. Let's yeah, announce that correct. yeah on here, and they do a lot of charity work in North all Carolina. of ours. All of our all it's of our charity. rides are are charity based, except for our monthly ride, our, our club ride, and we just you know we like to go eat then. You know. Yeah, you guys are awesome on Monday. We all <laughs> yeah, they're a Christian group. Yeah, yeah. Basically. yeah. Um, so back to the female rider, Debbie. So you ride behind Johnny. Mm-hmm. Now, what was that your first time ever riding? Yeah. What was your like? Do you remember how you felt and stuff afterwards, or like you're like this is something that I want to keep doing? Like, what was your emotional standpoint? I enjoyed it. I mean, I've never really done it before, and you know, he's the person you're riding with too. I mean, if it had been someone else, and I trust him. Even though I've fallen over twice, two times in the last year. <laughs> Johnny, you're still, it happens. But, so, yeah. It's, but it's, we should talk about that a little bit, though. That's yeah. a good it's, yeah, it's conversation. A, yeah, it's not riding yeah. that he fell over. Yeah, no, he stop. was not. He was still, and his leg gave out, so it's not that you were riding. Yeah. But, no. I now, mean, how's your, your hip doing right now, Johnny? It still hurts. I'm going to have to have something, something done. Go see a doctor and stuff? Uh, unfortunately, yeah. I don't like yeah, doctors yeah, yeah. either. <laughs> see, that's all we'll say about that. That's I just, you know. <laughs> but how do you feel like with the, I mean, the, how, as as you're getting older and stuff, do you feel like it's harder as a biker to ride those big iron horses or do you feel? It's not hard to ride them at all. It's just, you know, with an injury, it's, you know, it's not the, it's not the ride, it's the stop, <laughs> you know. Starting, yeah. Mm-hmm. The starting part, I'm really having a problem with. You know, as long as I can get it moving, we're okay. Once it's moving, yeah. Now, Mike, have you ever had an accident at all or anything where you got yourself hurt? Hurt? No. 
accident, yeah. I've, I've laid my current one down once and my